Uh, so we'll start simple here. For example, if I wanted to copy this cylindrical boss, I could just pick it and then use control C, or in my case, edit copy so that you can see it on your screen. And SolidWorks has copied the data for that cylindrical boss on the Windows clipboard. Now I do wanna point out something that is relevant here. You'll notice that the sketch for this cylindrical boss is fully defined. And that's by virtue of the fact that the location of the center of this circle is on the origin by virtue of a coincident sketch relation. This will come up here in a second um, because what happens when you copy a feature that has location information on it? Well, let's see here. For example, I want the cylindrical boss copy to be on the opposite side of my tombstone shape. So I've already selected what I wish to copy. Now I'll select the location where I wish to copy it on this face and then do a simple paste operation. But we get this message, and this message scares a lot of people, and suddenly they'll hit cancel. If the message said, there's locational information on the feature being copied, what do you want to do? That would make it much more uh, understandable. What they're saying is, is I'm trying to copy a feature that has a sketch that has locational information. And SolidWorks is asking me, prompting me, John, what do you want to do with that locational information in the copy? There's two options. I could allow SolidWorks to let that coincident relation in the copy dangle. In other words, it will not know what it's associated with, and then I'll have to go in and remedy that and fix it. Or if I'm trying to work fast and get my job done faster, I typically would delete that locational information. And then you know, you see the copy appears um, at the location where I picked on that face. Now I want you to see in my tree here, for the copied feature, that the sketch for that copied feature has a minus sign in front of it, which means it is underdefined because I told SolidWorks to remove that locational information. In my particular case here, I can reapply the locational information with a simple drag and drop, and there we get the coincident sketch relation, and I quickly and easily get the boss at the other location. You know, that information stays on Windows Clipboard, and I could uh, paste another boss, and I can even go to another document. For example, if I open up this file, I can select and do an edit paste here and get the cylindrical boss in that location also. So just like you're accustomed to being able to paste in different documents, if you're using uh, text from Excel and pasting it into Word, we can do this copy and paste into multiple documents as well. Now, what about the companion to copy and paste, drag and drop? Let me get rid of these guys. And I look at this, this three millimeter fillet. I say that three millimeter fillet is great. And I would like to pick up some other edges for that three millimeter fillet. Obviously I could edit that fillet feature and add new edges, but a quicker and easier way is to do a simple drag and drop. The key here is that you have to press and hold the control key. So you can't see it, but I'm pressing and holding my control key. I can click and drag on that fillet and drop it on this edge. And now I get a new three millimeter fillet. I can do that again. Notice you can even do it from the tree. I can press and hold the control key, click and drag on the fillet in the tree. And as soon as I touch a relevant reference in my model and release my mouse button, you'll notice that we get the opportunity there to apply that fillet as well. Easy peasy, super quick. Can we do that in multiple documents? Absolutely. Um, if I edit this, uh, let's edit this part. I'm going to try doing a control drag and drop from one document's tree to the graphics area of another document. Press and hold the control key, click, drag, and drop. I now have applied a three millimeter fillet from a part file to a part that's currently being edited in my assembly file. Pretty cool stuff. Finally, we can also create um, drawing views if we wish. For example, if I pick at the top of the tree of this component, I can copy that, 
And if I go into this drawing, I can do an edit paste. Notice we get our model view command. And if I simply hit OK, SolidWorks has now inserted or pasted a copy of that component in a model view in the drawing. You can do similar things between drawing views. You can copy drawing views from sheet to sheet if you wish using the same protocol that we know and love, edit copy, edit paste. One final little nifty trick with these common windows functions, uh, actually one of my favorites, it's a really super easy way to create new reference planes. And here's the requirement. You have to have a reference plane visible on your screen, like I do now. If I want a copy of this reference plane and I, I want it to be parallel, I want the new reference plane to be parallel, it's a simple matter of pressing and holding the control key and you click and drag on the perimeter or the border of that reference plane, it automatically invokes the reference plane tool with the offset option selected. I can key in 60 millimeters and I quickly and easily got a reference plane, a prescribed distance. Again, that action is you reveal or show the edges of one of your reference planes press and hold the control key, click and drag on the representation of the border, and there we have a copy of that reference plane.